Hello friends. Today, we will discuss two very important instruments. The first is, PLC, and, the other one is, PID controller. First, we will discuss PLC. PLC, is the backbone of industrial automation. PLC is such a device, which helps in automating machines, and processes. PLC stands for, Programmable Logic Controller. It is an electronic device, that reads digital, and analog inputs. And, based on predefined logic, controls the output. Or, you can say updates the output. Friends, PLC has some important components. What you all should know. So, let's see. The first is, CPU, Central Processing Unit. Which executes the logics or programs. The second is the input module that reads data from sensors and switches. And the third is the output module which controls the actuators and relays. Other than this, the power supply, communication module, and display screen are also important parts. To understand PLC, let us understand how PLC works. There is a special program inside the PLC, which we write in the form of logics. Programming languages are used to write this program. When data comes from the input sensors, according to the program written on it, the PLC controls the output devices. The job of a PLC is to evaluate the logic and update the output. For this, the PLC executes continuous scan cycles. In this cycle, input is read first, then logic evaluation takes place, and then, the outputs are updated. This cycle runs continuously. PLC programming also plays an important role as the outputs are updated, according to the program written, on the PLC. Or, controllings are done. Let's talk about what programming languages are used for PLC. Some popular languages are Ladder Logic, or Ladder Diagram. Which is also called, LD, in short. Next is, the Function Block Diagram also known as FBD in short. Next is structured text, means ST and instruction list, means IL now, in which programming language the PLC program will be written. These are chosen according to their applications and complexity. Now, let us see the applications of PLC PLCs are used in various applications, as industrial automation, process control, manufacturing, robotics, building automation, and PLC is widely used in energy management. You understand that, in industrial automation and processes, the role of PLC is very important and crucial. Friends, there is another feature of PLC, PLC communication. PLCs can communicate from another PLCs. From HMI means, human machine interface. From SCADA means, supervisory control and data acquisition systems. PLC can communicate with any other devices. Hence, it becomes easier to exchange data and monitor the control system. Now, let us understand the advantages of PLC. Although, there are many advantages of PLC. But, here we tell about some important advantages. Using a PLC improves productivity and efficiency. It automates repetitive tasks and reduces human error.
PLC also increases safety and reliability. PLC increases both machine safety and human safety. Next is types of PLC. There are different types of PLCs like compact PLC, modular PLC, and high-end PLC. They have differences in features and capabilities. You can choose PLC types according to your applications. Now, let's see PLC programming softwares. PLC programming requires the use of specific software. These softwares vary according to PLC model and manufacturer. For example, step 7, RS Logix and TIA Portal are some popular PLC softwares. Using PLC is also very safe. Now, let us look at the safety and security features of PLC. It includes safety interlock, password protection, and redundancy like features. These features enhance performance and safety of PLC. So, friends, PLC is an important and powerful tool in the field of industrial automation. Now we will discuss PID controller. First of all, we have to understand what is PID controller? PID stands for proportional, integral and derivative. It is a control loop that regulates the process and maintains it at the desired set point. Now, let's look at proportional, integral and derivative functions one by one. First, let's look at the proportional action means p action for p action we use a proportional gain that controls current or present error as the error increases the output also increases by doing so it moves the system closer to the set point a steady state error remains in the p action next as integral action means i action in integral action we control the accumulated error when the error persists the integral action accumulate the error and adjusts the output this also minimizes the steady state error the steady state error which remained in p action is reduces in i action or becomes zero now, let's understand derivative action. Means, D action, in D action, we control the rate of response of the system. If the response is too fast, the D action will dampens or reduces the response. So that the overshoot is less, the derivative action also improves stability. Now, let us see the equation of PID controller. The equation of PID output is PID output equals KP multiplied by error plus KI multiplied by sum of errors plus KD multiplied by rate of change of errors. This equation helps us to calculate the output now, let us see the applications of PID controller. PID controllers are used in many applications. Like temperature control, motor speed control, level control, pressure control, and many more. Now let's discuss the PID tuning. PID tuning is very important for an efficient control. In PID tuning, the KP, KI, and KD values have to be set correctly, meaning, setting the values of KP, KI, and KD is the tuning of the PID controller. You can also say it like this, so that, system stability and performance should improve. So friends, PID controller is a very powerful tool in control systems. If you like this video then please like share and don't forget to subscribe our channel.